Hello, class. Welcome. Please take a seat. Jordan, why are you too late? One more time and I will punish you by letting you make a website with Gutenberg blocks. You don't want that. <laughs> I've been there. It's too hard. <laughs> but people, I have a serious thing I want to address. Since 2017, I've been making tutorials about Elementor. And all along, I've been lying to you. I told you that with Elementor, you have sections like this. In those sections, you can have columns like these. And in those columns, you can place elements. And that's wrong. It's not true. It's not called an element. It's called a widget. If we go over here, you can search for widgets. But maybe you think, yeah, but the heading is not a widget. Well, let me search for widgets. And heading appears. So the heading is a widget. It's not an element. All those things over here are not elements. And I was like, element, elements. It makes perfect sense because Elementor elements. So I tried to to, to buy the domain name uh, Widgeter because it's widgets, but it was already in use and I don't want to buy it. But um, I'm sorry for telling you that it's a widget. So from now on, I will do my best to talk about widgets. And since this occurred, I, I wrote Elementor a letter and I told them, I'm so confused. Can you please get rid of the whole section and column thing? Because I'm confused. My audience is also confused, maybe because of me, because if I take a look at the poll, I put on the internet five hours ago, more people think they're called elements. I'm sorry. Maybe it's because of me. Maybe it's because I thought it was called elements. I don't know but it's called a widget and I will get used to it. But um, to, to finish my story, they decided to, you know what, Ferdy will listen to you, and especially because of you, we will get rid of the columns. We'll not talk about sections anymore. We'll talk about containers. So we will get out the columns because you're confused about elements and widgets. No, it's not the whole truth I'm telling you over here, but I can tell you that with the new container element, everything will change the way we make websites with Elementor. I'll be on it. I will be working on it. Uh, and when I learn something about that, I will make a tutorial about it. That's what I'm doing right now. But guys, ladies, I'm sorry for calling it elements. I asked multiple people and it's called the widget. I will get used to it and I will use it in my upcoming tutorials. And since I'm talking about Elementor, the latest months, I've been a little bit um, not talking too much about Elementor because a few big plugins of our, or um, uh, updates were coming up. And I was really looking forward to Gutenberg because for me, in, in the end of the day, it's about the best quality tools. And I was expecting Gutenberg to make a big step to become a real serious competitor of Elementor. But I think they missed it big time, Gutenberg. And now I'm working with Elementor again and I'm playing around with the container element and I love it. I think Elementor is doing a great job, especially with the widgets. Hey, thank you for watching this uh, video. It's not a tutorial. Thank you, Klaus. Jordan, keep my eye on you. Be careful. And um, I wish you all a great day. You're dismissed.